Yo, hey, it's uh, Jeremy Mansfield here with another daily vlog, and this vlog will be about uh, just video games in general. Um, I like to play video games a lot. I do this on my free time. Uh, the games that I like to play are sports games or action games like COD. And uh, sports games are like NBA, Madden, uh, MLB. NHL, FIFA, like your major sports games that obviously are created. Oh, and NASCAR, um, too. And then obviously, like, COD, you got the Modern Warfare, you got Infinite Warfare. Uh, and then, like, when I was playing on the PS3, like, World at War for, like, zombies. Because that was always, like, a good map uh, to play. Obviously, the basic map, but obviously you can pre-order these things, buy the other maps and everything, so it can create a better ex either a better experience or a more fun experience for you within all these games um so with these games i obviously for the sports i really like is when they have the trailers of the my career uh coming out every single year whether if they're like good or not um but this year i really didn't get mad in 20 because what I really liked like the platform of what they were doing of creating your uh, player going into the playoffs of playing a semi-final game and then into the national championship. But what really overall that I really wanted because um, I live in Wisconsin and stuff and they had like 8 to 10 teams that you can pick from and Wisconsin wasn't one of them. Like I understand like it's a starting point but... Overall, I would have wanted to pick Wisconsin. It's not like that is... It's not like that's like the excuse of me not uh, getting the game. Obviously, like these games like cost money and stuff. And also got other hobbies and everything. And so, just like financially, I just couldn't really get it. And nor did I really want to... Um, and especially, like, with other games I wanted to try, too, like NHL. And um, I haven't really gotten a FIFA game in a really long time, so I got that. So it's, like, some games that I'll be willing to get either every year, like NBA. Because um, they always have a good platform of with the My Career series. But with Madden and stuff like that, it only looked like... You could only be a quarterback because everyone did a quarterback, but then I was seeing, like, other uh, people doing, like, corners, halfbacks, and stuff. So then I was like, oh, this year I thought you can only be a quarterback. And so then I just was like, it would be kind of boring. Well, not necessarily, like, you can do great stuff with a quarterback, but it's just, like, if that's your only option, that it would be, like, really boring for that to happen. Um, because... Theoretically, you would want to venture out and play different positions, whether it be a wide receiver like I'm creating for my uh, my career uh, series for um, the channel and then just other stuff in general. Um, another really good one is NBA. I always get it every year. It's great um, with the series and everything. I always keep uh, wanting to play it. Um, Especially, like, with NFL or, like, Madden, um, the only thing that kind of, like, stinks about it is you have to wait until your upgrade by playing a certain amount, like, XP and everything. Where NBA, you got virtual coins and that uh, you can wait until you have enough. And so then you have, like, a double uh, bonus of... Uh, playing with that you have virtual coins that you can either uh customize your player while you're in the game of playing on the playground and stuff like that and earn uh coins that way or playing the actual nba games and then you earn like based off of your salary and then also like other way is that um that the uh, xp is that you have that and then it's like each time uh your xp bar you get more upgrades are available that you can do and your virtual coins are like your budget on 
what do you want to spend? Do you want to get better on defense? Do you want to get better on offense? Do you want to get better athletically? And so with Madden, obviously, you have to wait until your XP goes, and then uh, your um, then you can either choose whether your main type, which is basically your only option to progressively get better and your uh, overall will go. That's what I learned about it um, with Madden. But, like, in the NBA, it's, like, double. Like, you want to win because that way you get more VC. And then you also can upgrade your player as many times as you want as long as you have the virtual coins. And then, obviously, when you're all done and you have to wait, you absolutely keep grinding, keep playing, you save up and everything. And then uh, when you fill up that XP bar, then you, you the next set of upgrades can happen and then you can uh, buy from there. Uh, FIFA, I haven't really gotten into. I know it's like a really good storyline of playing a soccer player and stuff. Um, I really haven't um, gotten in touch with that game a lot, but I really like the uh, when it comes to the um, Ultimate Team series where you're, you're uh, playing either mini games or whatnot and creating the best team, whether it be with Ronaldo, Messi, and all those other good players, Neymar, and there's many more of uh, good players and the strategic way of uh, creating a lineup, whether it be uh, club-related or nationality, team-related, and stuff like that. And um, it ventures out to um, a lot more. With me, I kind of create it based off of nationality, but then I didn't really realize that also, like, if they're on the same club and stuff like that, they also get... Uh, bonuses of chemistry together which is really cool which I really like about that and then obviously the more you win and stuff you get uh, whatever currency their uh, currency is called with that and then you buy packs and stuff obviously with all these games you have ultimate team and stuff but that's how I like about soccer the most is the ultimate team and then you have like the percentages of if you have a good chemistry and if you don't, and um, then it really affects your team depending on the um, game mode, whether, whether if it's rookie pro or whatnot, that it really gains effect of the more higher you go in the game level, that the more of it's going to be a struggle. Um, another good thing also with that is like NHL too, like it, it does the same thing. It allows you to... Um, Obviously, you don't want to go base up overall in all these games. Like you also want to go scheme, uh, scheme wise, and also like within whether if they're connected through like a national team or a club team or um, whatever, because uh, then it'll uh, gain your chemistry and you'll flow really well within these uh, uh, games too as well. Another good one is that I really enjoy playing is WWE. Um, I really, at first, didn't really get into the games as well um, as the NBA and the Madden and all that stuff. Uh, I didn't really play it until I got to, like, WWE, like, maybe 16, 17, or something like that. Um, but I have WWE 19 right now, uh, which was shocking that they are, uh, what is it, um, canceling, I guess, right now, WWE 21. But then, obviously, when I've looked into that, their competitors of AEW is thinking of creating a video game right now, which will be, um, hopefully, um, hopefully it happens, though. Um, I'm not saying, like, bad for, like, WWE or whatnot, because of, uh, with this whole corona thing and stuff like that, they're, everybody's just losing money, and with all the fire cuts and everything, like, it's just overall in general that things are gonna happen, or they don't, because they get cancelled for a later date, postponed for a later date, um. It's just, it's, it's the way of society right now, but overall in general, like I would like to see what the AEW, what they can create within the product of their brand of it's new. It's, uh, I don't think it's not even a year yet. Um, so, um, I think it's almost a year though, um, that they've started this promotion of all elite wrestling. And that it would be cool to start off with a video game. Um, they've had a lot of success um, 
because when I've uh, looked into NXT, which is WWE's uh, promotion on Wednesday nights, compared to AEW, that NXT has been losing weekly, and that uh, with stories told that Triple H was, because uh, he's majority of the NXT promotion, and he's the one that's in the operations of all that, and uh, been struggling in that. Uh, with some stories, like, it may not be true or whatnot, because um, not all stories are true that, like, um, Vince is uh, up on him, because obviously, like, it's NXT. Like, you can't lose to... Obviously, like, Cody Rhodes was a former WWE superstar, but, like, for him, Triple H, uh, to have NXT promotion basically on his own, like, no one else is... Obviously, like, there's helping staff and everything, but, like, to be the main guy in the operations to uh, control that promotion, like, you shouldn't be, like, losing so many weeks worth of uh, that. Obviously, I could see it going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, with seeing what can NXT do and what can AEW do. But I just want to see that video game to come out. If they are creating it, I don't know for sure. But obviously, in WWE games that they, uh, some people create AEW superstars and then they, uh, make them downloadable for the like whole can a uh, whole internet people can download them and stuff like that. Obviously, I have I probably have seen a few of them, but I don't I haven't downloaded them myself because um I really don't uh look at that stuff. I really just uh like the game itself and uh play the game um the way it is and uh create teams and stuff tag teams and stuff like that and just do a bunch of stuff. Um, Fortnite is a good one. Obviously, it's kind of went down on me. I don't really play it as much because, uh, Warzone right now. Um, but I really enjoy that game. But what is really, uh, struggling for me is all the building concept and everything. Like, that just, uh, really gets to me. Like, people are so good because then they get the concept of building and stuff and, I get the building of, like, slowly, but then when it comes to, like, when you're in Crusher and, say, if you're one-on-one -on -one and you're fighting for the end, someone's going to get me on building, get the higher ground, and then kill me. Like, that's just the way it is. I'm not, like, the number one star on video games or whatnot, but I try my best and stuff, and eventually we'll get there, or I just keep it as a hobby, so I just do it for fun, and obviously I try to be competitive when it comes to the games of... Like you're and then like in NBA like you're down by three and stuff like that and obviously I'm gonna try and get the winning shot and be competitive within the game but all in all I'm not like one of those that I'm the number one and I'm gonna beat you and when theoretically like someone can show me off and like the game like esports gamers and stuff like that could probably beat me like crazy like no matter what they maybe even pick like their weakest. Uh, set up because obviously with uh, NBA now you can choose your archetype and stuff like that and create your uh, player however you want and beat me so in all in all like I enjoy these games they're really fun especially on the PS4 um, wait to see what the PS5 will do um, if I even get that I don't even know I enjoy the PS4 right now as it is and will continue to have it and stuff um so that's that, and hopefully you enjoyed this video on some video games that I really enjoy, and uh, have a good rest of your day. Peace out, stay healthy, and um, hopefully you're doing well within this quarantine thing, and uh, obviously in Wisconsin, we're slowly coming back soon, because uh, some businesses will be opening sometime soon, whether it be next week, Wednesday, and stuff. Um, hopefully, wherever you are watching this, uh, Hopefully you're staying safe, being healthy, and uh, hopefully we'll get back together soon. Peace out.